today I'm finally finishing a project that's been like two, maybe even three years in the making. Um, a couple years ago, my friend Liz, she's a great graphic designer, a great artist, and she manages a, an artist studio space in town. Uh, she painted that skull for me. Um, she did an incredible job. It's a resin cast of a human skull. It's not a real one yet. Um, this was kind of a proof of concept for a Dia de los Muertos or, or Halloween, you know, that kind of inspired event. And it just so happens that my friend Holly Gray of Anything But Gray Events, that's with an A, not an E, by the way, um, Holly is doing a photo shoot for a um, kind of LA meets Mexico wedding with some Dia de los Muertos theme to it. And so um, I have always intended for this to be an invitation. And so I've built an invitation around it and I am finishing up that project today and shipping it out for a shoot later this week. Um, the letterpress plates are coming in right now. I'm waiting for the mailman uh, to do some quick printing of those. It's gonna be a real fast turn on those. Uh, the box is almost done. I completely neglected to record any of the creation of the box, but it's a good thing. It, um, this particular box is essentially um, what would be kind of the proof of concept phase, and I would then go in and do it correctly. Um, this box, it's a a slip fit box and it doesn't slip fit it's too tight um and so it's not practical uh, if i was doing these in production obviously this would just be the very first one but it's for a photo shoot it works today um, and if it's something i wind up creating the full run of um, i would actually shift right now i'm cutting the book board which is you know the box board how you make the boxes i'm cutting it on my guillotine cutter and that's not ideal because paper tends to drift under the clamp pressure of a, a guillotine cutter and so uh, you get kind of some wonky cuts um, the proper way to do it is with a board shear, which is, you know, a big like um, office paper cutter, except it's gigantic. And I don't have the space for a board shear that I don't use all that frequently. The better solution for me is, um, is to laser cut it all. It's super precise. I can make sure everything lines up perfectly. Um, everything's nice and square. It'll be perfect. Um, it just didn't, it didn't work out for this project to have the time to do it. Again, this is kind of the iterative stage, but uh, I have a couple more panels to insert into the invitation so I can show you what that looks like right now. The mailman finally showed up. Uh, it is time to get printing. It's it's after 1.30. I, I gotta get cranking. Okay, well, uh, that, that was an insane day. I didn't get to show you everything I wanted to show you. Really not much of anything, but um, I gotta get it out the door in a second. First, I need to take some photo and video of this before it goes out the door. Um, <clears throat> so uh, my hands are pretty dirty from printing. So. Oh. 